Now, from your weather authority, Chief Meteorologist Wayne Hart. We'll be bouncing back and forth between the 50s and 60s for the next four days. And a little rain's on the way for Friday, but rain chances aren't all that high. And we'll get it out of here in time for a very nice first uh, weekend of spring. Today was nice. Highs were generally 60 to 65. A little warmer down in Greenville where it got to 66. Fairfield, though, only got to 58. So about a 10 degree temperature spread this afternoon. And I'm expecting a similar spread tomorrow, though. These numbers will be lower because of that colder air that is now moving. Moving on in. Live Doppler radar is all quiet, and that will be the case until Friday, more than likely in the afternoon when a few showers begin to work into the area. All quiet on the USI campus this evening on the far west side, now downtown Evansville, looking at past the old Vandenberg County Courthouse to the Lloyd Expressway and the near north side of the city with a temperature of 45 degrees. Look how dry the air is with a dew point of 18 and north-northwest wind settling down at 6 miles per hour and temperatures now falling through the 40s area wide. Princeton's already 39 degrees. So we're going to wind up generally in the upper 20s to low 30s by daybreak tomorrow morning. A light freeze but not as cold as it was a couple of nights ago. We had some scattered clouds move in behind the cold front this afternoon. They have pushed away to the south but we'll begin to pick up some mid to high level clouds around daybreak tomorrow that will lead to a somewhat cloudier and certainly cooler a Thursday across the tri-state. So future tracker showing that trend with a mix of sun and clouds for our Thursday. High temperatures running about 5 to 10 degrees cooler than they were today. Forecasting highs here in the metro generally 50 to 55. May have some upper 40s though as you head up to Fairfield once again the cool spot and it could push 60 degrees down on the western Kentucky Parkway tomorrow afternoon. So not as warm as it was today but certainly nice for the middle part of March. We'll continue with partly cloudy skies tomorrow night. Lows only into the upper 30s. Friday will dawn with a little bit of sun and then the clouds begin to increase. Can't rule out a spotty shower in the morning, but the better chances of rain will come in later in the day. Warm front punches to the north by noon, and that puts us in the warm sector with temperatures soaring into the mid, maybe upper 60s on Friday afternoon. And you can see at 4 p.m., just a spotty shower or two. So it will be kind of clouding up, but not a bad day to get outside and enjoy that warmer weather. Because eventually a cold front is coming through Friday night at 8 p.m. Few showers down here in our southeastern counties. And as the front gets closer here, rain chances actually pick up a bit in the metro late Friday evening into the overnight hours. That's when the cold front comes on through. Winds will kick in as that front punches on through uh, during the pre-dawn hours Saturday, which could dawn with some scattered clouds. But skies should quickly turn sunny as we head through Saturday morning. But it will be a windy and colder day with high temperatures on Saturday afternoon, only topping out in the lower 50s. But we'll be back into the 60s again on Sunday. So mainly clear and cold overnight, upper 20s to lower 30s. A mix of sun and clouds tomorrow, breezy, or not breezy, or just be cooler. Winds will run at about 5 to 15. And highs running about 49 towards Fairfield, 60 down towards the Greenville area, about 50 to 55 here in the metro. The clouds increase on Friday, a few showers developing mainly in the afternoon. They'll continue into the night, but a much warmer high of 67. Then we turn sunny on Saturday, windy and cooler, 54. Sunday will be warmer with a mix of sun and clouds and a breezy 61. A good deal of Monday will likely be dry, but later in the afternoon and especially the evening, some showers and thunder showers will roll on in. So we're weather aware for that through the morning hours on Tuesday. Not too concerned about severe weather here, but some heavier rain, gusty winds, certainly a possibility. And it looks like that rain should be winding down later Tuesday morning and the air behind it still pretty seasonable with highs still in the lower 60s. All right, thank you, Wayne.